Hey, hello guys. So, Emmanuel here. Today, bringing you a lesson. I wanted to do this lesson for some time. Um, it's called Findukulume. <laughs> I'm not from South Africa, but I love this song. And I know many of us from Africa have sung this song many times in our services. Um, I know the most popular part is this part of, of the song uh, that says... Um, So I know we are most familiar with that part of the song, but there is a part uh, before that chorus comes in, or a bridge or whatever part it is, um, that begins from the song. The title of the song is actually Finduhulume. Uh, if you search the joyous celebration, Finduhulume Moya Oyingwele. I'm sorry for my pronunciations, my friend from South Africa, if you... Uh, hear me pronouncing some of these words in the wrong way, please. We're just trying to learn the movements of the song. So that's the first part of the song. Uh, this is an intermediate piano lesson, not very advanced and not very simple, but I'll try to explain. The chords are in the key of D. Okay, you know the D major scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. You know the scale, know a little bit about the number system, what do we mean? What chord is in what position? For example, chord number one, usually it's a major seventh chord, D major seventh. Chord number two, E minor seventh. Chord number three, F sharp minor seventh. Chord number four, G major seventh. Chord number five, A major or, or A dominant. Chord number six, B minor seventh. Chord number seven, uh, C sharp, usually it's um, half diminished, it's called a half diminished chord, okay? And then back to one which is a major seventh, D major seventh. Basically that's what we call the number system. If you're not familiar with those concepts, please uh, check my website. We have very many courses that go into those uh, uh, basic or fundamental theoretical concepts. Yeah? Uh, especially the foundational piano course that we have. Check the link to my website below in the description area if you're interested to learn piano, piano in detail. We have many courses that can help you. I'll also put my contacts in the description for those of you who are interested to go further in training with us. So the first part of this song... Ah... <sighs> So the first chord is actually just a one or a D major on the right with F sharp on the left. It's kind of a one over three. Okay, so let me do the basic thing. Just do that melody. D, E, F sharp. Then you land on that chord. So the next chord is a four, which is G major. So on the left I have G and D. On the right I have G, A, B, D. So I'm just playing my G as an add nine, okay? Adding that A. So, and remember on the left I'm trying to add something F sharp and F sharp, but with an E, okay? So 
After that four, the G, we move to a two, which is an E minor seventh. See that E minor seventh? But now the trick here is this. You substi substitute that, okay? It's, it's just called a chord substitution. You play the four, just maintain the four on your right hand, and then the left hand is what moves to the E. So you have kind of an E minor 11th chord, okay? Uh, musically speaking. So. So, again, after the E minor, I maintain that G at 9 chord and then the left only moves to A and an E so it moves to a 5 so instead of just playing the, the normal 5 I maintain that kind of 4 over 5 G over A then you land on the 1 and in this case, the one, the D, I'm playing a D at 9 chord. D, A, D on the left, E, F sharp, A, and D on the right. So, and then, it kind, kind of throws on some chords there. So it's just a four on the right, G major in that inversion with an A on the left. And then he lands on the D. So. Okay, then let's move to the part, the next part. So the next part is Findu Hulu Menko Siam. So So it is D major. And then you move to a five over seven, which is A major on the right with C sharp on the left. Five over seven. I'm speaking in terms of numbers so that those of you can translate in other keys can easily translate with the numbers, okay? D major, A over C sharp, one, and then five over seven. Ba, ba, ba. Then the next chord is a passing chord, which is A diminished seventh, okay, with a D sharp on the left or an E flat. It's a passing chord to our two chord, which is E minor seventh, which we are playing in this inversion. Instead of playing the original E minor 7, I'm playing it here, B, D, E, G. It's an inversion of the same chord. Mm -hmm. Then the next chord is a 4, which is a G6 chord, G major 6th, G, D on the left, G, B, E on the right. And then the next chord, 1 over 5, D major on the right, with A on the left, and I'm adding an E. And then the 5, which is the A at 9. Back to the 1, D major. So that section of the song is covered. Let's play that. Now the good thing with video is that you can stop, you can rewind, and you can go back to what we were doing before. If you like these lessons, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, in that way you're helping us uh, just to promote our work, okay? So don't fail to like it, subscribe, share, you know, how you go about social media. So the next part is Gomba Zokizon Ebengizeneza Nana Zobella Ebu Sweni Boho Okay? 
we're going to that section, okay? And there's a translation of this song online. I love the the getting the meaning in English. It's an amazing song. Just Google that. Yeah? The translation is available online. <clears throat> so this se- section of the song, go on, okay? So, uh, so, um. Now you realize this the last part is the same as Findu Hulu Memoya O Inguele. Findu Hulu Menko Siam. So you're not going to repeat that part again. We're going to do the first part which is new. Na 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 go bazon kizon. E bengi zeze. E bengi zenza. Okay, so uh na na na. So what are the chords? D major on the right with A on the left. So I'm playing that inversion of D with A and E on the left. And then I move to that G6. So chord one, two, and then the third one, D major with F sharp on the left. And I'm adding a D, okay? So one over three. One, over five, four, one over three. Da, 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 da. Then to the five, which is A at nine chord. Chord number five. And then. Da, 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 da. Just a passing chord. So that is a C diminished seven. C, D sharp, F sharp, and A with F sharp on the left. F sharp on the left. I'm just throwing in that E flat. And then that is a passing chord to your 2, E minor 7. And remember, we're playing it in that inversion. And then to your 6, which is your B minor. Then to your 5, which is A major. Okay? So. And then the next part is the same. Hulu filu We already covered this part. And then the final part, uh, okay. The simple progression first start with the, that passing chord to the two A diminished seventh. Okay, that passing chord. The left you're playing an E flat, you can throw in a C, E minor seventh, 
Kuluma. Then you play a one over three, which is D major with F sharp on the left. But just note my voicings, okay? A, D, E, F sharp, and A. Then the left have F sharp, E, and F sharp. If you can't do this, just play D major with F sharp on the left, okay? Then you play your A, which is your five chord, but on the right you're playing that G6 chord. G, B, E. But it's a five chord. Back to your one, D major, Kulumba. chord number four, G, chord number two, E minor eleventh, remember those chords, one over five, D major over A on the left, Kulumba. then you play an A dominant seventh chord, A, E on the left, G, C sharp on the left, on the right. Back to one, D at nine. Now, that's the basic arrangement, okay? So, So you realize I'm doing some things here. For example, when I'm playing this passing chord, I'm doing this. So, you know, diminished chords usually roll over on top of one another. So I'm playing that A diminished seventh, and then I'm rolling it to a C diminished seventh. Okay? And then sometimes to maintain the melody, you can try, instead of playing that E minor seventh like this, I'm going to voice it like this. So that I have that. So, that could be my first chord. Okay, look at my voicing. So just throw in those chords. That E minor, and then I I also threw in some passing chords here. So when I move, when I'm going to so I throw in these passing chords. So D major, it's kind of a G minor inverted. And then A minor inverted. So, bam, bam, bam. And then I can also throw in this. So, you see? E minor, D major, E minor. Instead of just hanging on that five, then you move to the one. We are doing in something here. So we are just playing G major seventh and then G diminished seventh. All this time we have A on the left, which is our five. So this is just a chord substitution for the five. Then the one. Me 
I hope you've learned something out of that lesson. Rewind the video, go over the parts you didn't understand. As I've said, please subscribe to our channel. If you'd like more training from us, we have a website. We have many, many courses that we've prepared. Uh, you can learn more from us. Check my website and my contacts in the links uh, in the description below the video. And I'm hoping to see you in the next class. Don't uh, go anywhere. This is the place to be if you want awesome piano lessons. Thank you and God bless you.